Hello, hi. Today, uh, hi, how are you doing? Today we're going to be uh, installing um, a CD player, MP3 player, <coughs> car one. We're going to be installing it on an e-bike. Um, there's a few simple things you need for this. You need a, a, an old car stereo. Um, <coughs> it doesn't have to be anything great if you just want a radio. If you want uh, you know something a little clearer you can get a CD player and it won't skip as long as it's one of the newer ones um, try to find one with like a like an iPod input this way you know that's uh, some of the newer stuff that's coming out or a USB uh, so you can load a bunch of songs so you won't have to keep switching CDs and everything over here I have uh, an SSR it's uh, actually if anybody knows anything about it it'd be nice uh, to know. All I know is it's a Chinese bike. Uh, it doesn't make a difference what kind of bike it is. It can be a Geo, it can be, you know, Daymar, whatever, whatever is out there. So basically, if you look right there, the bar's in the way, you can't see it. I did that kind of purposely, which is now I kind of figured I'd, I, if I had to redo it, I would have done it up more a bit so the bar wouldn't be in the way. I actually can't use the CD player in this. Um, if I did install this a little bit higher say about this high here it would have passed the bar uh... this is just the first design uh... i was just screwing around and you know when you drive around you get a little bored so i'm going to turn it on there's an on button i don't know if you could see it not to you it's a well, you, you, can, you can definitely hear it um... this is just on the radio right now um... i'm going to show you how it's got the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a, anyway, it's a, it's a JVC 200 watt deck, now it has the, uh, the hookup for the, um, see the quarter inch hookup, that just goes, it's not a quarter inch, sorry, it's, uh, it's a one eighth hookup, that just goes into the face there, and then I take the other end of the wire right here, just give me a second, guys. Take my MP3 player, just any standard MP3 player, or even a telephone with uh, with a jack would work. Let me get this thing kicking. Okay. So I'll plug this in here now. Switch it on to the MP3 input, auxiliary input. I'm more than just an option. What up there? And then over here, I don't know if you can see it, right where the key goes, these are the actual, these are the actual speakers. Now the speakers themselves are out of a surround sound system. Um, I'll explain why in a second, just let me shut this off. Okay, I'll just turn the volume down on it. Okay. The speakers themselves, uh, see, there, there are systems available for the e-bikes. Uh, I've been priced, you know, you can buy them yourself and uh, get them installed or install them yourself. But the thing about it, they're, they're usually around 100 anywhere from 100 to $125. The sound quality is not bad, but, you, you know, you get these really small, maybe uh, one-inch speakers. And, you know, it says that it's 100 watts, but, you know, you're not going to maybe yeah 100 watts of trouble you're not going to get any bass or good sound out of it and uh, I think the control to adjust the actual uh, bass and trouble tech uh, trouble functions sorry don't even exist on those things uh, they're nice they're compact you know but uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more power this is it so we have a deck here we have a speaker here it's the same as before I'll just, I'm not going to take the grill off but you can see the speaker there in that surround sound system. Now, I, I purchased these speakers. What I did was I went to, um, there's a place in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada here. It's called Summit Direct. There are any computer store. If you go over there and ask if there's any returns on um, surround sound systems or maybe a Best Buy, and, you know, some, some of these places, they'll hold on to them because they'll piece them off and sell them, you know, five bucks a speaker. Now, as I was talking about those, those other... Um, Sorry, those other uh, aftermarket stereos that are that are made for these e-bikes. Um, 
The, the problem with that is if you don't know how to install them, like I've had guys give me prices up to $300 Canadian for these two little cheap speakers. So this whole system with the deck and the two speakers cost me, let me see, it was $35 for the deck, which was a great price. And I actually got that from an auto wreckers. If, uh, if you guys don't want to buy a new deck for, you know, if you guys don't have one and you have to buy a deck, don't buy a, don't buy a new deck. Just go to the Auto Wreckers, one of your local ones. Uh, call them up, see if they got any aftermarket uh, car or CD players. You know, and if they do, you go down there, you check it out, and you take a look, and uh, you see how, how how many they have and which one you want. You know, like I said, these are these are normally typically about 200 watts. These uh, car decks. So I'm going to show you the luggage. That's the luggage compartment with the speaker on top. I'm going to show you what I did here. Open it up. You can actually see the deck here. That's the deck sitting inside here. You can see all these wires here. In order to wire this, you need a 12 volt battery supply. It doesn't matter if it's 6 amp. It doesn't matter if it's uh, 24 amp or 22 amp. Or Amperage is just how long you can use it for. The higher the amperage, the longer it's gonna it's gonna play music for. It, okay, so um, when it comes off the deck, you can see these two wires right here. There's a red and a yellow wire. Those two wires come off most of the decks. They're they're that color. That's their positive. Now um, you're gonna think positive. If you don't know much about stereos, positive would just be this red. Uh, when it comes to stereos, they have like an on-off switch, and that's this yellow wire here. It's uh, This is a constant wire, and this is an on-off, so when you shut your car on and off, it will turn the CD player on and off. So what you want to do is you want to twist those together, okay? And then there's a black wire coming off the deck. The black wire is, is just self-explanatory. It's the negative, and there's only one wire for negative. There's a bunch of other wires here. There's four channels for a CD player for a car deck. Um, all you really need is two channels if you're running two speakers. If you want to run one speaker, you just need one channel. The channel, uh, sorry, the outputs from the deck that you'd want to hook your speakers up to, uh, there, there's eight of them because there's two for each channel and there's four channels. Now to distinguish what channel and what, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because you get the music anyway. But if you look at these two purple wires here, they're both purple, so that means that that's one channel. These ones are both green, so that's another channel. There's another two that are both white, that's another channel. Uh, one of them has a stripe on it, and one of them's just a solid green, for example, because this one's green. Now, uh, what you want to do is just hook that up to your speaker wire. And what I did was I just drilled a hole there, and put it right into the back of the speaker. I put a piece of tape over it. Now, for power, once you take so that's that's for volume for to hook it up to your speakers. For power, you want a negative and a positive. Now a lot of people they can what they can do is they can hook it up to your actual ignition over here. So when you turn it on, it automatically puts the power on the deck. See, I'm not that uh, technical, and I don't feel like ripping apart my e-bike just you know just in case something happens. So I recently got new batteries for the e-bike, so I saved one of the old ones. It's just a universal battery, 12 volt, uh, and you can see where my wires come out, and they go up here, and they go out into the deck. Now these wires are self-explanatory. All you have to do is hook the red up to the red side of the battery, which is positive, and the negative up to the negative side. After you do that, you should have no problems getting sounds. At least if the lights light up, you know that you did it right, and you can hook your speakers up, and yeah, that's about it. So there you guys go. That's how you get a cheap solution to listen to some tunes while you're cruising on your e-bike. What you also might need to purchase, or what you're going to need to purchase, is if you're running it this way off a separate battery, you're going to have to purchase a manual uh, charger because that battery is going to get drained. Now, uh, you can buy one of these, it's just a box, uh, it's a charger, it goes on 6 and 12 volt. Now, and it's got the uh, jumper cables on the one end, negative and positive. So you plug that into the wall on the one side, on the plug side here, you plug that into the wall, 
power goes through this transformer here. You go negative to negative, positive to positive. Charge it for about six or eight hours and you're good to go. You'll probably have, at least on a full charge of a battery, like you can get days out of it. Depends on how loud you play it. The louder and longer you play it, obviously you're gonna wear it on the battery, so. Uh, I hope this was good enough for you guys uh, to understand on the way it's, this is done. Like I said, you can wire it to the ignition, but it's not worth the chance this way. I know if I wire it this way, I'm not gonna have a problem with it. Okay, so guys, don't go through spending two, three hundred dollars for an e-bike little crappy stereo when you can get a 200 watt car deck that's going to power speakers and sound a hell of a lot better. Thanks. Peace.